Hey gang, AV here. I have a bunch of stuff that I got in the mail this past week and it's worth showing off, quite frankly. It's been a good mail um, package week for me. Um, got a lot of good stuff. Um, obviously, I just got a haircut. I actually did it right before making this video and you can see that I've gotten some sun since I've cut my hair the last because now it's pretty obvious where my hairline used to be. Um, just, you know, bear with me. Just kind of, I'm looking at myself in the picture and it's kind of silly, but whatever. It is what it is. So, uh, first order of business is actually not a mail haul. I actually purchased this at, at the store today. It's the Batman page puncher figure. Um, I purchased the other three at the store and I've already filmed those reviews and, and they'll be coming out, but, uh, I had him pre-ordered at Big Bad Toy Store, and I, I realized, you know, he's $3, 2 or $3 more from Big Bad Toy Store than he would be if I just bought him off the rack. So, I bought him off the rack and uh, canceled the pre-order. Makes sense. Um, this is something I had pre-ordered for a long time. It's the George Lucas in Stormtrooper disguise figure. Which I think is pretty pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna keep him on the card until I have a place to put him. I don't actually have my uh, my 112 Star Wars figures on display anywhere yet. But when that happens, I am going to open this up, put him on the shelf with his helmet on, so that you don't know which one is George Lucas. But I think that this is awesome. I think they did a great job on him. His likeness is very cool. Very good. Um, stick that there. This is a guilty pleasure of mine, which I just got off of eBay for like 10 bucks. Uh, because I saw it when it came out in stores, and I, 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 I should have pulled the trigger then, but I didn't. It's uh, Scooby-Doo with Captain Caveman. I love both of those characters. So why the hell I didn't buy this off their peg, I don't know. But, uh... I got it now. I love Captain Caveman, especially. And, and Scooby-Doo is awesome, too. I mean, how could you not like Scooby? But, got those. Um, next up, as many of you know, I uh, I have Hero Quest, and it's something that my wife and I, along with our friends, all play occasionally on the weekends. And uh, we, we love it. We love it. Uh, so... I got this, I saw this uh, advertised on uh, Facebook. This is uh, an independent book written by Louise Manuel Calenti, right down there in the bottom. And he uh, put several, several new quests in here. As well as, I'm not going to show the link, but he uh, he actually put a link so you can download uh, and print out brand new maps. Because if you're not aware of what Hero Quest is, um, it's basically a uh, it's like Dungeons and Dragons, only it's on a game board. So so you have a fixed area where your game is going to take place, and instead of your characters building up via experience points and having to write all that stuff down, you get new equipment and spells to actually get your characters more powerful and, and increase their stats and stuff like that. So it, it's a little bit easier to play, in my opinion, than Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons but it, it's it's a hell of a lot of fun, especially after a couple beers, but it, it's a good time. So anyway, um, he made a, a hell of a lot of new quests that we can play. Um, as I said, you can go to a website, you can print out um, uh, some of the new dungeon maps uh, to, to lay on the table and play on that instead. And he even went so far as to include a couple full spell books. I mean, these are all spells that would be in that particular book, as well as trying not to, another spell book there, as well as... The prices for those spell books, the alchemy shop, 
the, all the, this is all brand new items that he came up with. And the armory, very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. This is definitely going to build on our quests quite a lot. And I'm really looking forward to using this. And it's only volume one, so he's still working. So that's awesome. I'm, I'm very, very excited to have this. And again, this is Dungeons Quests. I got this off of Amazon. It was only 15 bucks for the soft cover. I mean, you can get a hard cover copy too, um, if that's your game. But uh, this is this is fantastic. What is that? Wow, he's even got long boats as a quest. <laughs> this is great. Um, next, I got two copies of this. Um, finally, finally got my uh ragnarok book one signs hardcover in um this is based off of uh norse norse mythology um it came from a kickstarter that was started in spain so it took a little while to get the english version printed and then shipped out so it finally came in i actually ordered this via kickstarter i think it was in either november or december but i finally got it I read the digital copy literally months ago, and I loved it. So I'm really looking forward to the next ver uh, next installment. I will absolutely be be uh, funding it, the next Kickstarter when it comes out, and uh, I'm very excited to have that. It also came with um, four bookmarks and a making of book which has a whole bunch of additional artwork and and behind the scenes text and and everything. Really really excited to finally have this at home. Cuz I've been looking forward to this for a long time, probably longer than a lot of my other Kickstarter stuff that I've backed in the last few months. And last but not least, and this is going to be reviewed as well. I missed my chance to get it in the store, so I had to order it online. This is the uh, the Jeep Gladiator from Jurassic World. This is remote controlled, or radio controlled, I mean. It comes with a dyno and some cra trap uh, capture claws right there in the front. It looks like it should be able to accommodate three and three quarter inch, at least, if not maybe four. So once I get this opened up, we can do a size comparison to see what figures you can stick in there. But I'm a huge Jeep fan. I had a Jeep myself for over a decade. And once you have a Jeep in your blood, it, it, it's never out of your blood. Uh, the only reason why I don't have one now is just because I couldn't afford it. But um, that doesn't mean I won't have another one again in the future. We, we shall see. But anyway... A remote control Jeep that I can stick my G.I. Joes in. I had to. You know, I had to. So anyway, uh, this has been a... Oh, uh, before I forget, too. I'm going to be reviewing this guy soon, too. Um, but anyway, I've had that for a little while, but I just haven't reviewed it yet. So anyway, this has been AV. If you like this video, please check out my channel, where you'll find a whole bunch of comic book and toy content uh comic book un unboxings especially from cgc haul videos toy reviews you name it if any of that sounds interesting please check out my channel um if you enjoy the content i have there please subscribe um like comment share all that stuff i really appreciate it i try to answer all my uh all my comments i absolutely do read every single one just so you guys know, some of the ones that I've gotten recently, I actually have to do a little bit of research, research before I, I respond. So don't think that I'm ignoring you at all. I'm not. Um, but anyhow, this has been AV. If you like this video, please check my channel. Check the video description down below for my, my social media accounts, my, uh, my eBay page, whatnot. And short boxed accounts as well, where you have stuff that I have for sale. Check out the Plastic Underworld, which I have a link to in the video description, which is where I get a lot of my action figures. And as always, thanks for watching.